This week on Wildlife Wednesday, I'm taking a walk in Sean Walsh Park. This beautiful oasis called Sean Walsh Park is situated right in the heart of the vast and vibrant city that is modern day Tala. Although Tala has not yet been granted city status, it is, however, in my opinion, only a matter of time before this becomes a reality. It may not happen in my lifetime, although I hope it does. But failing to grant its city status is merely postponing the inevitable. But for today, let's leave the politics and political decisions alone and take a look at and around Sean Walsh Park. Sean Walsh Park is the gateway to the Dublin Mountains Way a walking trail that takes hikers from here in Tala in the west of Dublin on a 42.5 kilometre or 26.5 mile journey across the mountains to Shank Hill in the east. The mountains themselves form a beautiful contrasting background to Tala's vast urban sprawl. For the less energetic amongst us, the park is a wonderful place to sit and relax and watch the world go by, while children play in its well-appointed playground, or try out their observational skills on a maths eyes trail. Others, with or without their parents, might like to learn about trees by following the well-laid-out tree trail. And who knows, the parents might also learn something. For nature lovers, a stroll at a leisurely pace along the paths around the lakes where large numbers of ducks and gulls, herons and swans form part of the large avian population of the park, much of which can be seen and heard while strolling not only along the paths around the lakes but also through the woods and by the areas left to grow wild in the hope and expectation of attracting more wild creatures to the park. This is part of South Dublin County Council's new six-year biodiversity action plan, Connect with Nature. And here I quote directly from the brochure outlining the council's plan in which Chief Executive Danny McLaughlin says, Nature, the natural world and its ecosystems are for the enjoyment of everyone. Education and awareness across all of society, together with focused plans like this one, will greatly assist our ambition to preserve the most valuable assets for the future generations. Well, I'll certainly agree with those sentiments. And when it comes to education, I hope this plan will instill a greater awareness of the natural world in our young people, in the hope that they will realise that they too are part of the natural world. So for today, I'll leave you with a look around Tallis St. Stephen's Green, Sean Walsh Park.
Well, thanks again for watching One Leap Wednesday, folks. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and if you did, I'd be grateful if you'd give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Till next week, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and continue to maintain social distancing. We're not out of the woods yet. Take care. Bye.